Dan, first of all, welcome to Motherwell Football Club. Uh, your stay here may be brief, but I'm sure it's been a whirlwind the last 24 hours. What's your thoughts on signing for the club? Yeah, I, I think uh, it was brilliant for me, and um, it was, yeah, how, how did you say it? It was uh, very hard to believe the last 24 hours what's happening because obviously I never expect um, that quick a loan deal. Uh, but I'm desperate to help out um, Motherwell. I mean, it's just for a short term, but obviously I want to help and uh, hopefully I can do it. It's a, it's a club that you, I suppose, vaguely familiar with. Back in, in 2009, you spent some time here. I know the club tried very hard to get you at that point, but the deal never transpired. So I'm, I'm sure it's slightly familiar surroundings for you. Yeah, it is. I mean, I was in 2009 in the summer in the preseason here. Uh, and I tried to get away from Bayern Munich and obviously the um, international deals weren't uh, so easy for me because obviously Bayern Munich tried to get uh, compensation and um, yeah, I had to leave Motherwell even if I didn't want it so I'm happy to be back even if it's just for a couple of weeks, couple of days. And obviously gonna, you know, be, being a doubt for us, just leave us with one goalkeeper. So we've, we've tried to, from the beginning of the week, you know, search high and low for what might be available. And then, as always in these situations, you come up again red tape, you know, people from England, um, even if they're out of contract, obviously you can't do cross-border transfers um, if they're contracted. And then different dates, um, England and Scotland have got different um, window dates and... Um, you know, loan dates and things like that. So it then came down to having to try to get somebody from Scotland. Now, there's not many, you know, Scottish sides that have got, um, you know, going to allow you to have a, a number two come on loan, you know, because, uh, you know, they're needing for their own side, naturally. Uh, and a lot of keepers nowadays, you know, they're, the, the, the number three goalkeeper, if you like, is a young lad, just like we've got, you know, in Cheesy. So, um Gordon Marshall's done a lot of calling round and we, we've we've done his best to try to get somebody in and you know out of the blue um Dan cropped up at Dundee and um you know really grateful for them to, to for him you know to let him come out and loan to us um to January first I think it is to the window opens again. Um and you know I spoke to John Brown at length and he speaks really highly of the lad. Um he probably would be you know, knocking on the door of their first team, if not for the you know the good consistent level of performance of their number one at this moment in time. So, uh, hopefully, things will be tied up um, in the next couple of hours, and at least we'll be going up to Ross County with you know two fully fit keepers. But we'll give Gunnar all the chance, he, you know, all the time he can, and see if he can keep improving because he's he's improved a lot this week. But yeah. whether he's improved enough to, you know, to to start and go, we'll have to see.